Well, welcome back in. There's always something amazing and interesting going on at the Imagination Station in downtown Toledo. And this week, it is Engineering Week. Kristen joins us now with a preview of what is going on. And Kristen, you're shooting something at me right now. Hey. What is going on? Oh my, um, it's our thermal camera, Chris. So unlike our normal camera, this is going to pick up your thermal energy rather than the visible light that the normal news cameras normally see. So if we can take a look at your thermal energy right now, you can see your face is pretty warm. That's why there's that orange color. Meanwhile, the rest of your body is a little bit cooler. Do you like my shades too? I like your shades. Now, based on those cooler colors we're seeing, Chris, it looks like your goggles are pretty cold. Are they really cold in your face? They don't feel all that. They feel cooler, but not extremely cold. No, they're cooler, but they're not extremely cold. And the cool thing is, no pun intended, that a property of those plastic goggles are they're not going to allow that thermal energy from your face to transmit through to be picked up by our thermal cam. Very cool. I know, it's really cool. So let's do some experiments, right? All right, let's I'm start gonna, off. Yes, yeah, so what I have right here for you to pick up is our glass speaker. So I'm going to go ahead. The small glass one? Tiny glass speaker. Okay. And go ahead and put that down. We can see it's picking up on our thermal cam. It's a little bit colder. Now let's take our blowtorch and I want you to warm up somewhere on that glass beaker. Okay. So if we can take a look at this through our thermal cam vision, we can see that's pretty warm. That blowtorch is pretty warm. And you can stop blowtorching now. Let's take a look at our beaker. If we look at our thermal cam, what do we see? It's still hot where I was toasting it. It looks pretty hot, right? So go ahead and put the um, our fire torch down and go ahead and, and touch that. I dare you to touch it, Chris. Really? I know. So. It's not really hot, right? It's just not too room bad. temperature. It's, it's right. warm, but it's touchable. It's touchable, right? So what I want you to do is take our big beaker over here and put it on top of the little beaker, and we'll see what the thermal cam sees. OK. So we can see. Whoa, check that out. What does it look like? It is essentially, it seems like it's taken away the heat, but we know inside there it is. I know, so it goes back to your goggles, Chris. Now everything radiates heat. So, oh, nice job. So you see our little beaker is still radiating that heat, but our big beaker doesn't allow that heat to be transmitted through, and that's just a property of the glass. Now, to tie it back to real life, this is why our energy efficient houses have two panes of glass in their uh -huh. windows. Double pane glass. Exactly. The first pane will catch that good heat from your house. The second pane will actually keep that heat, that thermal energy, from going outside where it doesn't need to be. Very cool. And I one know. more time, it's still hot. I know. Wow. That's cool. So let's take our trash can over there. You can see it, our trash can liner. And go ahead, pick it up. and. Go ahead and put it over like a smock. Not your face, of course. Put it over where? Put it over your body like a smock. And I, I have no idea what a smock is. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a fashion type of guy. But oh, yeah. I will explain another does time. Does this work? It works exactly. And we can see, even though my eyes can't see you, because that visible light isn't passing through our opaque trash can um, liner, then you can see with our thermal cam, your thermal energy, we can still see you. That's passing through. Ooh. Very cool. I know, that's why we don't use trash can liners for windows, right? I know, so let's put that down. Let's move on to something really, really cold. We have our ice here. Now, ice is usually pretty cold, right? So why don't you go ahead and pick up some ice, Chris. And you can put it on your hand, you can put it on your lips, wherever you want to do it. <laughs> Fantastic, so you can hold it on your lips right there. And go ahead and put it down. Let's see what happened to your lips. Oh, it's so cold. You know, it looks like you're wearing lipstick. That's because it's so much colder than the rest of that thermal energy coming from your face. So you're a very brave soul to try it. <laughs> oh, no. As you can see, the rest of your face is much, much warmer. It's pretty cold, right? All right, enough with that one. <laughs> That was cold. That was really cold. So going on with kind of certain kinds of um, substances will transfer that thermal energy better than others. Why don't you pick up my plastic okay. right here and go ahead and we're going to hold that in front of your face. We're going to see what happens. And whoa, you can see once again that thermal energy can't pass through our plastic. Now my eyes see the visible light. It looks like it's clear to the normal cameras, but with our thermal camera, that heat energy, that thermal energy is not being transmitted through. Do you want to do it halfway? Give us some of that smile. 
Oh, very nice. It's like Two-Face. Two-Face. <laughs> exactly. I can be turned into a villain as well, apparently. <laughs> you guys all about science over at the Imagination yes. Station. This is all part of Engineering Week that is going to be uh, through this weekend, correct? Exactly. Engineering in action. I know. And then Saturday marks our grand debut of our blender bike, where you can use your energy powering the pedals to power a blender and make smoothies and stuff. Like the sound of that? Oh, yeah. Kristen, thank you so much for the fun and exciting experiment. Oh, thank you. Glad to have you guys back anytime. Coming up on Toledo's only live local 9 a.m. show, we'll talk about your certified most accurate forecast, rain, thunder. It's all coming down across the area. How much rain will we see? Details next.